What's up guys, it's Sam Green Sci Fox. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Hello to everyone who has stuck around this long. I cannot tell you how much that means to me. Thank you. I did take a break almost five months ago from YouTube um, and also from buying new plants. I figured owning a couple hundred of them and uh, continuously buying them was turning into something that was more um, non-beneficial than it ended up being beneficial. So I'm going to share that with you all. I posted on my Instagram I believe just my Instagram that I wanted questions from you guys so I can answer them in this video that I figured that might be the best transition into getting back into doing YouTube videos um, something easy I could sit down with and kind of discuss any uh, anything you really threw my way I haven't gone into Instagram yet oh. I recorded two videos before this one right and I couldn't release them because I upgraded to this new phone and it's the newest iPhone and I have an old iMac and they don't talk to each other anymore so all of the footage is still on this iPhone and until I can get it imported and edit it you may never see it. <laughs> so I'm recording on my old point and shoot so I greatly apologize if you can immediately tell how terrible the quality is or if it seems less by any means. So let's see what we have here. Are you preparing for spring? Any plans for the outdoor garden from Taylor Nicole's garden? I love um, yes, actually I was just looking at my shelf where I have all of my seeds and pots and dirt and soil and all the stuff that goes along with that and like I have two huge boxes filled with plastic containers to use for like winter sewing if I want to do that again and um, I do want to go through see what I have. I decided I'm not going to do like set themed gardens like I did last year. Like I did a purple garden, a black goth garden and I started building my moon garden up and it became um, really pretty to look at but I wasn't able to have as much freedom as I wanted because I was always trying to stick within that palette so I'm not going to be doing at least color themed type things this year. From Brittany Clydesdale, any tips for growing monsteras indoors? I bought two little baby ones and I want to make them thrive. Monsteras are actually one of the easiest house plants that I own. I've been able to take the large one that I have and make so many little babies successfully and give them away to people as well. Um, they're really fast growers uh, as long as like the conditions are obviously correct. I live in a zone 6 so it's pretty cold right now. It's actually it was negative 21 degrees Fahrenheit this morning with the wind chill and um, every single plant I have outside besides evergreen species toast at the moment. So all of my house plants come in right before, you know, like first frost or slightly right after the first chill depending on what they are. If they're tropical house plants like a monstera, they come in way before that. Like they thrive in warm, you know, nice, think like Florida type environments and they would do really well around like pools and spas in my area in the summertime. So if you're able to mimic semi similar conditions in your home like a warm environment, nice light, um, constant water, availability, misting. Um, I like to take mine into the shower and give it a good overhead that gets all the dust off and it allows for it to just soak right through the roots and give everything a good flush and a good drain. Peep Solomon. My Monstera doesn't look too happy lately. Indoor temp is normally 68 and 50 when we are away. Could their temperature be the reason? The temperature inconsistency could be the reason. Um, if like I just said, with monsteras or philodendrons, they like, you know, not, I, they could probably do really well in super hot, like, temperatures, but they do in pretty timid temperatures. Like, my house is kept anywhere between, like, 65 to 75 degrees, depending what it is outside. If I'm going away, I never drop my house temperature that low because we have a bird and um, just animals in the house so I can't keep my temperature really below 65 so if you're able to afford it I would maybe consider keeping your heat a little bit higher when you're away okay this is Paris plants I don't know if I'm too late but what is your favorite part about growing plants 
so deep, right? <laughs> My favorite part about growing plants, I guess, at this stage, like I've been an outdoor gardener almost 10 years. Um, definitely still consider myself not very good at it. <laughs> um, as far as indoor house plants, I've had those anywhere between, you know, six, seven, eight, nine years, but like the vast majority of my collection is almost two to three years old now. And um, for me, lately, it's been annoying. <laughs> Watering this many plants costs a lot of money. It takes time away from things that I may want to be doing elsewise and ultimately in the end would I want to walk into my house and not immediately see greenery or have a house plant near me no that's not what I'm saying so my favorite part about caring for plants is the ultimate fulfillment that they give me um, all around maybe it is you know frustrating or struggling and um, even now like being like an influencer or a plant youtuber or whatever you want to call me you're always gonna end up comparing yourself in one way or another to your peers because you need to like kind of see what works for them and what isn't working for you and you're never meant to like compare one another but when it turns into like a competition to like who has the most of this plant or who has the best plant or who has the best availability to go to plants like it got to be too um, underwhelming for me and I wasn't into it and that's why I did take a step back I just wanted to appreciate the choices that I made for myself and um, exist with my plants let uh, my style kind of come to me um, without any other influence behind it from social media and uh, I guess just the journey like any other thing the journey of owning houseplants has been um, pretty interesting. So those are actually the only questions I'm so popular that I got on Instagram, but thank you everyone for sharing them. I have a couple of pretty technical questions that I'm compiling from YouTube comments that you guys have left me on a lot of videos, a lot of my alcasias, my monsteras, the philodendrons, um, my more popular videos that you guys see. I have one for my cottonanthe and both my um, pink princesses. I still have a lot of stuff I haven't shown you guys. So thank you to everyone again who has stuck by me this entire time. If you are new, I would love to have you here as part of the plant fam. Uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Give me a like, leave me a comment um, on anything you'd like. I, I can be plant related, I don't care. I'll answer it as soon as I can. Thank you everyone. Have a good one. Goodbye.